obsessive compulsive related disorder so obsession and compulsiveness obsession means the preoccupation with persistent intrusive thoughts and ideas so intrusive thoughts resulting in rituals to decrease the anxiety and compulsions the performance of rituals or repetitive behavior designed to prevent some events divert unacceptable thoughts and decrease the anxiety so obsession and compulsion often occur together and can disrupt normal daily activities. So obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD, right? OCD. So it is a mental health disorder characterized by repetitive action that seems impossible to stop. So anxiety occurs when one resists obsession or compulsions and from being powerless to resist the thoughts or rituals. Obsessive thoughts can involve issues of violence, aggression, sex of behavior, orderliness, or religion and can uncontrollable interrupt conscious thoughts and the ability to function. So the obsession we said, obsession means unwanted intrusive thoughts or urge or image causing the anxiety, like a fear of contamination so like this picture this man cleaning again and again and again because fear of contamination from pathogen or bacteria or virus and what he doing this is compulsion ability to resist repeat repetitive behavior thoughts and right to also reduce the anxiety so continuing, excessive hand washing, excessive cleaning, this is compulsion. So now related disorders said, like hoarding disorder, skin uh, pricking disorder, excoriation, substance or medication induced obsession compulsiveness related disorder, Obsessive compulsive related disorder due to other medical conditions. Here, pulling disorder, also some kind of obsessive compulsive disorder. So, how we diagnose it? And here, talking about the compulsive behavior patterns, behaviors, rituals. Compulsive behavior patterns decrease the anxiety. The patterns are associated with obsessive thoughts. The patterns neutralized the thoughts. During the stressful time, the ritualistic behavior increase. Also, defense mechanism include repression, displacement or undoing. Hmm. So this of compulsiveness sometimes anxiety reduce. So and also the what are the trigger we have to control it. Hmm. And also when we go for the diagnosis we must know obsession and compulsive are 
time consuming and disrupt social or occupation environment. So what are the intervention for obsessive compulsive related disorder? Hmm? So or also what are the nursing intervention? So ensure the basic needs like food, rest, hygiene are met. Identify situation then precipitate the compulsive behavior. Courage the client to verbalize the concern and feelings. And be empathetic towards the client and aware of his or her need to perform compulsive behavior. Do not interrupt compulsive behavior unless they jeopardize the safety of client or others. So provide for the client safety related to the behavior. So this is safety is the first priorities. So what are the nursing action? First of all, we need to nursing diagnosis means severe anxiety related early life conflict as evidenced be repetitive action like hand washing or recurring thoughts about the contamination or germs, decrease the social and role functioning. So if we see any patient have obsessive compulsive disorder, we have to set up the goal means demonstrate the ability to cope effectively with a stressful situation without restoring to obsessive thought or compulsive behavior. So what are the other intervention? Like allow the time for the client to perform compulsive behavior because if you want to stop patient anxiety will go up but you should allow to for compulsiveness or action but give them time limit number of frequencies better to reduce but set limit are behavior that may need may interfere with the client's physical well-being to protect the client from physical harm. Implement a schedule for the client that distract from behavior. Establish a written contact that assists the client to decrease the frequency of compulsive behavior gradually also recognized and reinforced positive non ritualistic behavior. What else? So uh, we have to establish a relationship through the use of empathy, warmth, and respect to the patient. And verbalize the empathy towards the client experience rather than this approval or critic, uh, criticism or criticize your patient, right? If you ask me what are the medication we use for obsessive compulsive disorder, we use SSRI or antipsychotic medication. It is very effective. 